episode of Soundbite with your host Aksa Tariq. Today we have with us Mr. Ahmed Jalal, founding director of Pakistan Fast Growth 100. Assalamu alaikum sir. Would you please introduce yourself? Thank you very much. Uh, my name is uh, Malik Ahmed Jalal. I'm the founder director of Pakistan Fast Growth 100. Uh, it, the idea initially started when I was studying at Harvard University and uh, what attracted me towards All World Network was uh, its uh, community, they cr- create a community of entrepreneurs um, and, and the whole idea is that uh, in developing countries, emerging markets, not much emphasis is placed on emerging small medium enterprise entrepreneurs. Much of the um, uh, highlighting of entrepreneurial excellence goes to big corporates, big entrepreneurs. Uh, but yet there is a lot of entrepreneurial uh, and activity that takes place at the SME level, which never gets highlighted. And All World Network has this unique uh, model of uh, creating uh, 25 fast-growing or 100 fast-growing country, uh, companies, SMEs, all privately listed companies that they create a ranking of. Uh, and in a way, they make these uh, companies visible. So if you can imagine a radar, and on a radar there is nothing uh, at the moment, uh, but the moment uh, an old world uh, ranking comes out, it's like 25 or 100 spots emerge. And as you know, when you have a, a spot on the radar, then uh, they can those companies can attract both customers, can also attract talent, human capital, and, and they can also attract financing, which are the uh, three constraints of SMEs growing in developing countries. Thank you very much. According to you, sir, how receptive is the entrepreneurial ecosystem in Pakistan to giving a privilege to both the nominees and winners of Pakistan 100 awards and summit? So that, that was another uh, question mark we had is that uh, if uh, people are going to respond to this initiative. And, and, and I, I'm very proud to say that, you know, in Pakistan, there is a huge hunger for, for, for growth and success as well as uh, recognition uh, of, of the hard work and great work these entrepreneurs are, are doing. So when we did Pakistan Fast Growth 25, um, Pakistani companies, we had a record number of applications, 80 applications for 25 spots, which was better than what was done in Saudi, in Jordan, in Lebanon, in South Africa, even in India. Uh, we had a record response from, from these companies and which shared their financial statements with with the All World Network um, uh, based in Boston. Then on top of that, there was a lot of support from uh, the Chambers of Commerce, uh, the Raul Pindi Chamber of Commerce, Islamabad Chamber of Commerce, people like Pasha, Jahanara, yourself, CIO, as well as other institutions like uh, Michal, um, and, and then we had initial partners as JS Bank, who saw a great opportunity for the SME entrepreneurs in this. Thank you very much. Could you please briefly comment on the evaluation criteria on which the winners will be decided for this year? Uh, evaluation criteria is uh, very simple. The company has to earn half a million dollar revenue uh, to qualify for a ranking um, and, and has to be in existence for at least three years. They need to have audit financial statements for at least three years. And so that is the lower limit. Uh, the upper limit can be as big as, as you can go, but they have to be private companies. They can't be listed companies. They also cannot be uh, a company that is uh, government owned or has some ownership of the government because we feel that that uh, is not pure private sector enterprise. And the other important thing is we we don't want for we we exclude foreign uh, franchises of foreign companies. So let's say KFC in Pakistan or, or any other uh, foreign franchise because we want these to be homegrown success stories. So if there is a Pakistani burger chain which is growing abroad or which is growing in Pakistan, that is fine and that is franchisee system because that to us is a Pakistani business. From Pakistan fastest growing 25 last year, we have been successfully considered for the fastest growing 100 this year. How do you think, sir, that this reflects on Pakistan's brand value in the All World Network? If you look at Pakistan Fast Growth 100, the only other 100 ranking that there exists is in Saudi. All World Network is very close to having a, a ranking in Turkey, but at the moment where it only exists is Saudi. And so it shows that you know there is depth within the ecosystem in Pakistan to have 100 companies in order to rank 100 companies you have to have a multiple of companies that apply so it's just not 25 people could say there's a small group of companies with 100 you've got to really show that there is breadth as well as depth in the economy to support those kind of SMEs Um, and and Pakistan amongst 
12 other countries or 14 other countries in which uh, the ranking exists uh, is the second country to have Pakistan Fast Group 100. Uh, and, I, and actually, I can tell you that there were other com countries where All World Network has been working for a greater period of time. But it is the drive, it is the enthusiasm, it is the response from the entrepreneurs, from the ecosystem, from everyone in Pakistan, all the stakeholders, that has enabled the Pakistan Fast Group 100 to come up much quicker than any other countries. Post the Pakistan 100 Awards and Summit, where do you think we are headed next? The, one of the negatives about some of the initiatives was that, uh, you know, people have a, like, created a lot of excitement and yet, you know, there's no follow through. So one of the things All World Network has done is we have created something called the Pakistan Fast Growth 25 Forum, which is going to grow up to Pakistan, of course, Fast Growth 100 Forum of a grouping of entrepreneurs who come together themselves, uh, self-organize. And what they're going to do is that they have identified three areas, uh, social impact, growth opportunity and business advocacy. So this is a group of people who have a lot of legitimacy uh, because they are growing and they are growing fast in difficult circumstances to go to the government to advocate on behalf of the business community that we need these situations to improve for us to do benefit the economy, create jobs and also pay more taxes. Uh, the other areas of course growth opportunities for each other and then and then third is social impact there is uh, a way for uh, for all world network and these entrepreneurs to get together to create a business plan competition uh, that that is something which we have facilitated we have initiated because there's a huge pool of resources within the entrepreneurs in uh, in in the past time 25 and 100 who are self-organizing to to have an impact on society economy and also help each other out through growth opportunity the other thing is, towards the middle of the year, All World Network will have an entrepreneurship summit in, DC, in, in, in Boston, Harvard University, where the top companies are going to be invited and, and other companies are, are, are going to participate, who uh, will network with the top companies from other emerging markets, from uh, North Africa to Middle East to India. And so it creates a huge opportunity for fast growing companies in Pakistan to network with those in Saudi or in Morocco, get to know each other and build business connections with that. Subsequent to that, the US government, and this is very tentative, um, has agreed, as well as some of the diaspora Pakistani community uh, organizations, that these entrepreneurs who go to Boston will also go to DC. They will engage the US Department of Commerce as well as the US Department of State and diaspora community who want to tap into the entrepreneurs in Pakistan to get them better connectivity in the USA and, and to build business relationships with them and also for the purpose of mentoring some of them or helping them out with their businesses. So it's a two-way dialogue that we have uh, created uh, with, with the entrepreneurs in Pakistan, with the entrepreneurs uh, in the rest of the emerging markets through the All World Entrepreneurship Summit that's going to take place at Harvard University and then the similar kind of dialogue and engagement with the Pakistani diaspora community and US Department of Commerce and State. That ladies and gentlemen was Mr. Emma Jalal on promoting small and medium sized businesses in Pakistan through the Pakistan Fast Growth 100 platform. This is your host Aksa Tarek signing out from Web Studio TV. Allah Hafiz.